Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to be talking about uh, pass by value, pass by reference, and out parameters. So let's take a look at our program. We have a simple box class with one method that uh, sets uh, height, width, and length to 10. And in our uh, you know, main area we have uh, three variables that are set to zero. Um, we output the, those variables, we create a new box, we um, then call, you know, get box with, um, you know, those, those variables uh, to set them to 10, and then we output that to the screen. So let's see what happens here. Do you think we're going to, what are we going to get? Are we going to get three zeros um, and then three tens or what? So let's, let's run this. Okay. So for some reason, you know, w we didn't get what we wanted. Um, we got... Uh, two sets of, I mean, nothing was changed, right? So when we pass these values in, when we pass height, width, and length into our uh, get box, it did not, um, it did not change those. So let's let's do this here. Let's see if I do console right. Actually, we can do this. Make it quicker. Okay, height, width, okay, and we'll just do this here, inside, insane, <laughs> inside, uh, get box, okay, so now we'll run this and we'll see what happens. So it looks like inside get box, uh, these variables are actually set to 10. So what's happening here? Well, what's happening is um, we're passing by value. Whenever we pass uh, variables in uh, or arguments into our method, uh, we're actually passing a copy. So if we want to actually modify uh, these variables themselves, we have to pass by reference. Uh, so let's go ahead and just sit and talk about that one more time because it can get a little bit confusing. Uh, intrinsic types, integers, floats, and things like that, whenever they're passed into a, a method, they're actually a copy is made. Uh, and, you know, we work on that copy, and that's really what's occurring. Uh, if we want to modify the thing that we're passing in, we have to pass by reference. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at that. How do we pass by reference? Well, we can delete this. And it says real simple. We just have to use the reference keyword here. So we'll type here ref, 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 okay, and then ref, ref, and ref. So now that we have that, we should see 0, 0, 0, and then 10, 10, 10. So let's go ahead and run this. And that's the case. What's happening is, you know, we initialize these to 0, we pass these into getBox. GetBox modifies the, the um, variables, and this time they're actually working on these, you know, as opposed to uh, a copy. So, um, so that's basically how you do it. Now, what we want to do is, well, it may, it's kind of silly that we have to set these to, you know, in this scenario, we have to set these to zero in order to get them to work. Because watch, if we set all of these to, you know, don't don't initialize these variables, we're getting an error. So, uh, but the truth is, in this scenario, uh, we're just trying to get box and re and return those, uh, you know, the dimensions. So it makes absolutely no sense to set those variables. So what we can do is we can actually set these to out so or out parameter so let's do that and what we're saying here is that we don't really care to initialize these because all we're trying to do is get to, you know we're, we're not using those um, these, these numbers here you know we're, we don't need to set these to safe values because we're just returning um, you know, our method is just returning a value, and it doesn't care. So if we run this now, we should get 10, 10, 10. Obviously, if I uncomment this, you know, that's going to give us a problem. See, um, but uh, but anyways, 
So that's pretty much it for this lesson. Uh, we, today we learned about pass by value and pass by reference and if you've been playing around uh, with uh, you know methods and stuff on your own time you probably ran into into this. But again just remember uh, intrinsic types are passed by value into methods so that uh, you know a copy is made uh, and you know instances of objects are passed by reference. So if we want to pass intrinsic types into methods um, and and actually modify those uh, you know those those variables we need to pass by reference. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, let let us know how we're doing and uh, have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.